Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and today I have not one, but two game dev assets bundles for you. Uh, you're going to see them in action right now, uh, and I'll show you get the bundles, and I'll show you a couple more in action. Now this one is the dark medieval asset. I'm showcasing this one first because it is available for both major platforms here, that being Unity and Unreal Engine. It's also very large, so you can see all of the various different bits here. We are right now running inside of Unreal Engine with a very heavy duty blue filter going on here. So you can see this is the first asset we're showcasing. And here we are, this is Unity, same asset. By the way, if you see any performance issues, it's just straight down to I have all of these various different game engines open at the same time. So as you can see here, you're getting exteriors and interiors for this dark medieval environment, including the world's scariest scarecrow. And let's just go ahead, take a quick look inside of this church, uh, like so. So we'll do a quick overview of this asset, and then I'm going to show you it one other way. So over here, let's switch over to the overview map. And you can see these are the various different pieces that go together to make this up. So as you can see, very modular assets in nature. And what I can also show you is this. So this is that level exported out to Godot. So this is not a Godot bundle per se. This one is for Unreal and Unity. Uh, but as you can see, you can get out pretty much uh, picture perfect exports out to other engines if you wish. Uh, for this one, I use the commercial uh, Unreal to Godot plugin, uh, but you can also bring this out in uh, other ways. I don't know if there's interiors here. No, there aren't. But it gives you an idea of how good these look in other engines as well. So even if you're using um, Godot or Flax or another engine, uh, you can get these assets out and work with them there. And again, they look very, very good. So uh, this one is, again, the dark medieval environment asset. This one was exported out of the Unreal game engine using Unreal to Godot. I have guides down below showing you both free and commercial ways to get assets from one game engine to another. So if there's a Unity asset here you'd like to see it in Unreal, or a Unity asset you'd like to see in Godot, or an Unreal asset you'd like to see in Godot, and so on, hey, I got you covered there. So we got these two bundles here, and the most important thing I got to start off with is the code. Use the code SN60. So SN60 at checkout, it drops 60 bucks off the price. So this becomes a $39.99 asset. So this one here is the Unreal Engine bundle. Uh, you see here the dark medieval environment. That's what I started with because, hey, it's the first one. Oh, actually, sorry, no, it was actually the demonic village environment. So you've got two kind of in the same theme here. You got a modular English mansion environment, a wild west environment, haunted prison environment, medieval village environment, the forgotten echoes environment, desert planet, a fire watch tower, medieval Russian village, oriental building environment, a horror mansion, Madrid street environment, a bowling alley, a stylized countryside, a couple of plugins, an English cottage, uh, some discount codes and subscription stuff, uh, and some sound effect packs and a couple of other things here, mostly filler at that point in time, but still quite a bit here. Now we've got a lot of Lurtes bundles in the past. Make sure you don't already own what you're interested in. You're going to have some overlap for sure, uh, but really boils down to if there is a single asset in these bundles that you're interested in, it makes the entire thing basically worthwhile. So uh, on the Unity side of things, it's weird. They label this as 15 plus packs and then there's well over 20 in it. So I don't know what's going on with that naming convention. Exact same deal, by the way. Use the code SN60. It drops the price down to $39.99. By the way, if you do use my links down below, it does help support me and thank you very much for doing so. So on the uh, Unity side of things, I've got a lot of the same environments going on here. So Dark Medieval, uh, Modular English Mansion, the Demonic Village, this is the one we saw already, uh, Medieval Village Environment, Firewatch Tower Environment, Abandoned Horror Mansion, the Bowling Alley. I've had this one in previous bundles and I've absolutely loved this actual environment. So uh, then we got the Stylized Countryside, the Spanish Cottage Environment, some discounts, some sound effect packs, Chinese Alley Environment, the Tortuga Lighthouse Island. I'll show you this in a second because I absolutely love it. Uh, the Ramen, uh, restaurant environment stylized low poly cyberpunk city we literally just had this in another bundle so that's one that you probably already own if you're a bundle hoarder like me uh, stylized japanese shrine french quarter street environment will's room environment uh witch village environment office corridor environment neptune's roman bath and the vintage bar environment so you're getting a ton of stuff here for 39.99 again remembering to use the code sn60 and again you can get these things out into other engines with relatively no issue at all so here we got another unity environment so you see relatively no issue so you're going to notice that texture is missing so you would want to either uh, clean that one up 
or uh, fix it out yourself. Oops, I deleted the wrong thing. Uh, I don't know what's actually missing here, uh, but that is an aspect. You're gonna have a little bit of cleanup. Same with this this tree. You're gonna have to fix the textures on it. But when you import things across, it's never 100% perfect, but it is darn close. So even if you were using another engine, no big deal. So here is the source environment. This is Madrid, by the way. So it was this texture that was missing. So something went wrong with that. You're gonna have to do a little bit of fix up. Same with over here, but you can see the original, obviously you have a uh, much different lighting setup because different game engines, different lighting. But again, gives you an idea of what kind of stuff you're getting. Again, incredibly modular. So everything here, uh, one thing that you're gonna find, people say, is it gonna be asset flippy? It's not asset flippy. Uh, it's all modular stuff. So you mix and match it, make it look your own. It only looks like an asset flip if you go ahead and use these demo environments. You're never supposed to use these environments except for maybe for testing, uh, because quite frankly, they're just meant to showcase what the levels are capable of, not to actually be used as pre-made levels. People are going to recognize them because people in asset flip scenarios do just blatantly reuse this stuff. So here is another one of my favorites and what I used for the actual pack. Here we are back in the Unity game engine. This is the Tortuga. Yeah, Tortuga Lighthouse. So for some reason, it is a lighthouse on top of a giant turtle. So I'm guessing someone is a big fan of the Discworld series. So here you can see the lighthouse. I don't think there's interiors. No, no interiors on that. But I think this looks really sharp. Uh, also, it's one of the better lighting setups I've seen for Unity demo assets out of the box. A lot of times the Unity stuff doesn't look that great out of the box and you have to kind of tweak it to make it look good. I think the lighting on this looks great. So uh, this is another one of the demo environments. Again, completely modular in nature. Uh, a little bit more niche in terms of its use. A lot of people aren't going to necessarily need a giant lighthouse on top of a turtle, but hey, I like it. Now back to Unreal Engine for a spell. This is the dark medieval environment. This one is actually huge. So it's all interiors and exteriors, everything you see to make this type of environment. Now, I know that we've definitely had this either in an Unreal Engine giveaway uh, or in uh, a previous bundle. So do make sure that you don't already own it if this is the only asset you're interested in, obviously. But if you need to have a, a medieval setting, uh, you're actually getting quite a bit here. The nice thing is there's actually a decent amount in this bundle of that theme that would all work together. So it's not that disparate in terms of uh, elements. Now, I'm not sure that I could plunk a giant turtle lighthouse into the middle of this scene and it would work, but hey, I would be willing to give it a shot. And for our final showcase, again, back in Unreal Engine, and we will show you one of the stylized environments. So there's a handful of stylized ones in here, come from a company called Styled Arts. This is the uh, feudal Japanese or something to that effect environment. As you can see here, it's, it's a bunch of uh, buildings, kind of a lower polygon style. Obviously this is not going to ma match the other styles that we saw. I don't think there are interiors. No, there are not interiors. Uh, so there are a couple of stylized ones thrown in here as well. Again, generally a single asset is worth your time. So you'd be getting everything else for free. But this one again is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to here. So quite a few different styles. Again, we saw these running both in uh, Unreal and in Unity. Plus you saw, you you can export them out into the Godot game engine. Pretty good results there as well. So the most important thing I got to put into your head, though, if you do pick these up, uh, you do need to use the code SN60 when checking it out. Uh, it drops it down to $39.99. I don't want you guys to waste money if you don't have to. So then again, use the code SN60. drops that down to $39.99. So really nice stuff here. So again, a couple of stylized. So the Wild West is a stylized. Uh, and then the Japanese uh, or Eastern province is stylized, but that's it. So those are the only two stylized for the uh, Unreal and on the Unity side of things. Uh, I don't think we really, oh, so the stylized Cyberpunk and Japanese Shrine, uh, and that's it. So uh, yeah, that's uh, a pretty good pickup, I have to say, for uh, $39.99. Let me know what you think of this bundle. Let me know what you think of, like, Lurtez and Style Art stuff. Uh, and uh, are you looking to pick this one up? Again, if you're using a different game engine, do remember, uh, I have a series of guides down below that will show you how to get it from one engine to the other and the details of it and all of the rest of that. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.